Hello everybody, and just here, and welcome back to Sentai Daishkaku, episode 2, in uh, which... In uh, which... D, I think. That's what... Yeah, he's called uh, Sentoin D, so like Dusker... Duster. Dusker or Duster? One of those two. D, Mob D, our main protagonist, wants to uh, break out of the um, vicious... Uh, situation, I'm not gonna say cycle because it's not really a cycle, a uh, situation where they have to fight endlessly will probably start his rebellion, if you can call it that, will start his espionage attempts or, again, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, really. In the previous episode, uh, we've met our characters, <clears throat> uh, we've met the world, uh, we've met the... Um, we learned about the situation in the world, and the situation is as follows: some sort of a uh, uh, some sort of an enemy arrived to Earth with an army of uh, immortal, or well, they can like reconstitute themselves on the mothership uh, grunts called dusters, uh, superheroes or super Sentai characters, uh, but. If I say bootleg Power Rangers, someone's gonna get angry. <laughs> so I'm not gonna say that. Um, the Rangers, yeah, they're called the Rangers. Uh, the Rangers uh, defeated the evil. And uh, people thought that that's basically where it ended, right? Uh, the big evil was defeated, but it still lingers, right? They st it still lingers, it still sends... Uh, enemies onto uh, on Earth, onto the ground, and they have to fight endlessly, yada, yada, yada. The truth is that the Rangers uh, defeated the big bad boss, uh, left behind the Dusters, and made a deal with them. We let you live, we let you exist, and uh, once a week you uh, pick one of yours to turn into a monster, you send that monster down, you go down, uh, we beat your ass, and uh, that allows us to keep being heroes, right? Because what is a need for a hero if there is no threat that the hero can save people from, right? They would stop being heroes if there was no threat. So you're gonna continue being the threat, and uh, we will let you live in exchange for that. And uh, that's how it goes. They build an entire arena around it, people are gathering, cheering from the audience, um... Nobody behaves as if that invasion was actually dangerous, was an actual invasion. People just treat it as a sport, as a sport event, as a weekly sport event, or an episode of their favorite Super Sentai show, which it basically is. And nobody seems to pay much attention to the fact that, hey, yo, something's not right here, right? Why are we feeling so safe and secure if it's supposedly an invasion? We made a, you know... So uh, that's the situation. Some people are cheering for the dusters, though. Some of them are cheering for the monsters uh, because uh, it's in human nature to cheer for the underdog every so often, right? And uh, our main character, Duster D, says, Enough! No more! I, uh, I want to break the cycle. I want to destroy the rangers. What's going to be the best chance to do that? Well join the ranks, and destroy them from the inside. And uh, he is given a chance to join the ranks, uh, thanks to Yumeko Suzukiri and uh, Hibiki Sakurama, who seem to be um, recruiting people for... I don't even know what to call it, really. It's like a... I don't know, apprentice branch of the rangers, like what the dusters are to the big bad, those people are to the rangers, and they have uh, light swords, lightsabers, and apparently you can join them if, if you only want that. Cool! <laughs> He's gonna be able to join that, D, that is, and uh, break the rangers, their whole entire organization from the inside, or at least uh, that is the hope right now, um, how it will go, well, that of course remains to be seen, right? 
and see that we will um, in this episode. We're just gonna have to watch it, and you're gonna need your subs for that to follow along with me. I'm gonna need my sound to hear what's going on in the show. Am I framed correctly? Come on. I'm gonna need my sound. Good enough. <laughs> To hear what's going on in the show, as I said already. Maybe. Wait. Wait. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. No. No, no, no. Maybe. I think that's better. I don't know. And I'm gonna need your support. If you want, you can support the channel directly on Patreon, YouTube, or not. For my content, spread the word. Cost you nothing, helps a lot. And with that being said, we can start watching episode 2 of Sentai Daishikaku in 3, 2, 1, go! Oh, I was hearing it in only one ear for some reason but now it's fine and now my camera is flickering okay so a um, special ancient magic weapon supposedly because for all we know it could also be an element of the propaganda and it's just a piece of a PVC pipe with an LED inside. <laughs> yeah, don't stick out. Don't start like steering shit or anything. You need to be a modal ranger. The opening is amazing. And uh, while we are watching it, I'm gonna quickly... Uh, where's the face cam? There it is. I'm gonna quickly refresh it. We up? We up. Okay, we're back. Hopefully it's not gonna be flickering anymore. I have no clue why it does that. Honestly, so far, opening of the season, out of the shows that I've seen... I have not seen Kaiju number 8 yet. And I think it's already out. And I should probably be watching it, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, tomorrow there's, you know... There's a day tomorrow as well. <laughs> Today I have Sentai Daishkaku and Blue Archive. <laughs> Amazing opening. Legit. In general, though, I will always give, like, five points up to anything that isn't J-pop. <laughs> oh, it's our friend from the underground. <clears throat> With weird eyes. And the waifu. I mean, he probably will. As far as we know, the uh, duskers are... Oh! Oh! Huh! 
I was about to say that as far as we know, Duskers are uh, like stronger than regular humans and more resilient and stuff, but maybe not. I really like the style of this show. The animation, the art, just everything. <laughs> oh, the rangers came to visit. Yeah. Yeah, he's looking for D. <laughs> yeah, of course they wouldn't let it go. The mouth animation is very elaborate, I noticed. Fix how? Yeah, I mean, fair. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Through thick for you and thin for them, maybe. Whomst. Oh, a couple of randos from the like Ranger Force, I think, that D is applying for, yeah? Yeah, probably. Fair. Yep. Exactly to be expected. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, it is a perfect, you know, perfect scheme for the strong, of course. Hmm, we see a little bit more of their faces. Yeah, you gotta be smarter about it. There's more, but again, you gotta be smart. You can't just, you know, jump out. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you nailed it, dude. That's how you use cutlery. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, so like everybody has their own uh, HQ or something? Like there's the red HQ, yellow HQ, blue HQ, yeah? Seems to be the case. Yeah, you let that slip. Oh, of course, it's just a, you know, it's just a theory, right? Or is she all... Is she a monster? Is she a monster? She seems to have noticed uh, the crack, but said nothing. She diffused his slip up. Ah? Uh. And the pitch black eyes. I wonder... What's wrong with your eyes, mate? What even are your duties? I mean... Yeah, cleaning the park and helping the police, sure, but... Oh, uh, can he turn into one of them? He probably can. Is that maybe why the rangers hide their faces? I wonder if they actually would have enough foresight for that. Close. Close. The eyes are wrong. The eyes are wrong, though. Pretty damn close, though. You do not have the behavior down pat, though. It would be ridiculously easy to deconspire you. Why? Hmm. Retinal scan. Oh, they're not scanning him. Okay. Well, that makes it easy. Oh, which one is it? <laughs> Colorless. So, like, uh, doesn't belong to any of the garrisons. No, that's not the correct voice. And also Red Keeper doesn't have the things around his mouth. And he absolutely knows what's up. She absolutely knows what's up. Uh, 
oh, <clears throat> is being read like inheritable? Take out the letter. Oh, so they've met. Or is he just bluffing? Oh, uh, I recognize the voice actor. It's um, Frankie from uh, what you call it, Spy Family. Hmm, so they have their own specialty. Yellow is R&D, red would be, what, manufacturing? Judging by the cogs and shit. No, monster extermination. There aren't any monsters, though. So who are you even exterminating right now? Not cool headed enough. Yes, exactly. No, because now you have a purpose. Now you have a goal. Now you can strive to achieve that goal. That's the red. Yeah, the hair that we've seen underneath his helmet. So, what are you gonna do? He's not ready. Yeah, he's not ready to do that. He's not even that great at pretending to be someone else. Yeah, of course she knows. <laughs> and she just goes with it. He's absolutely not ready to be a, like, double agent or whatever he is. Yep. Yep. Exactly as I thought. Are you, though? Hmm. Why? What's in it for you?
What's in it for Suzukiri? Does she want the like to be the next Yellow Ranger or something? And what's F doing? I mean, sure, he said that he can't just, you know, sit around like that. Yeah, but this is not a smart way to do anything. What does he even intend to achieve here? Oh, we get a henshin sequence. <laughs> Eh, it, it's no simple gear, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> What's that? Oh, bone? Flesh and bone? Eh? Oh, so like a divine beast kind of thing, huh? Is he actually dead, dead? That's a cool pose. Yeah, you at least did something, tried to do something. You did not achieve anything, but it's better than just rotting away, right? Oh. We have not seen the ending, have we? Okay, F is still here, so I wonder if he actually survived. Right, there's five rangers, but we've seen uh, six headquarters. So I wonder if each of them has their own, and there's one, like, general ranger HQ. <clears throat> also seeing uh, five rangers and five dusters here. I wonder if the ultimate plan is to, like, replace the rangers? Shapeshift into them and take their role? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> The plot thickens. The plot thickens. Uh, let's watch it again, shall we? Yes, we shall.
<laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna note anything down, but I feel like I might, so I'm gonna pull out the book, uh, notebook, beforehand. Monsters do not die, however, we humans never lose. Right, we have a Divine Artifact. Weapon created one year after the war started. Hmm. Interesting, because the war started in modern times. I'm just gonna say, right? The war is con something contemporary. And yet the divine artifact being made of flesh and bone really brings the uh brings the vibe i guess you could say of something that was created by like an ancient civilization and uh, stored somewhere underground in a mesopotamian ruin or something like that right or something that was excavated like a spine of a deity Zorus or whatever, right? That's the vibe uh, I'm getting, at least. And yet they claim it has been created, created keyword, one year after the war started, uh, which would again imply that it was created by the rangers and their allied forces. I wonder if it's actually the truth. Uh, we cannot forget that we can't believe basically anything they say. Every piece of information they give out is most probably just blatant propaganda. So chances are that the, that the divine artifact is something they actually retrieved from somewhere. I don't know where from, but from somewhere. Uh, which makes me wonder, could it be that there is third party involved? Maybe some sort, of, some sort of a third party that is backing the rangers against whatever faction the Duskers belong to. And I think it's solid enough to note down, to be honest. Uh, third... Party is involved, gave Rangers the divine RT fact. Because where else would they get the divine artifact from? Right? The imagery is again very like you know Greek fucking Macedonian Egyptian whatever frescoes on the walls. The imagery here is not something that was created one year after the war started. The imagery is something the you know something different. Some something they discovered in fucking Symphogear <laughs> or whatever, right? So I wonder, I wonder what's the truth about it. <laughs> OP, OP, OP. I don't suppose the opening is going to give us any hints. Yeah, it's just mostly meet the character and how the red is basically the mastermind here, keeping everybody in, in his grasp. Yeah, what's her deal? What's Suzuki, Suzuki's deal? I mean, we know what her deal is. She wants to destroy the rangers for some reason, right? She, uh, she wants to work together with D, but what would her reason be? I wonder. I wonder. I also wonder about this. Uh, the rangers came here in a uh, helicopter. Did nobody notice that the rangers are just 
casually approaching the enemy stronghold, landing there and uh, remain there for an extended period of time? Did they frame it as, I don't know, red and blue are going to try to defeat the uh, big boss? And then they return and they give a press conference. No, actually, we we did not manage. Oh, the big boss was too strong. I see I got a cut on my face. It was, oh, damn, not yet. We need to thin out the ranks even more or something like that. Did, or did nobody pay attention or what's the deal here exactly? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and of course, they would not just let it go there's a traitor amidst their ranks and uh, they need to get the traitor and here we meet two more characters blue squadron senior third rank and junior third rank aran hekiru and shinta ruri who will be overseeing the duskers And yeah, no point fighting because the Duskers are very fragile, which makes me which makes me wonder: is there anything more to the? Again, is it Duskers or Dusters? I can never remember. Uh, the is some thing more to the grunts. They can tap into uh, what i mean is it kind of feels a little bit weird a little bit off uh, that they would genuinely just be this fragile like their only characteristic is they can change into other people and creatures imperfectly because the eyes on d did not change uh and uh, yeah and again they're very fragile and that's it to them there's nothing more. I don't think so. I think there might be something more to them. Uh, not necessarily maybe in a... Uh, like a physical, tangible way, right? I don't expect that... Oh, they actually have... Th they actually can evolve. Or whatever, right? They can train a lot and evolve. And D... Uh, discovers that if he runs a lot on a treadmill and lifts some weights and takes uh, part in a fight and defeats an enemy, he levels up and evolves and grows fangs and wings or whatever, right? I don't think it's going to be something like that, although it is possible, right? How many times in Power Rangers? I'm going to be mentioning Power Rangers because it's basically my only window into Super Sentai. Uh, how many times in Power Rangers did the Grants evolve, right? From maybe season to season, how many times the... Uh, what were the, like, Rita Repulsa's Grants called? Clay... 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 Clayface? Clayman? S something with clay, I think. Uh, they got, like, golden armor at some point or something like that. Yeah, they did change form. I'm remembering it correctly. R and I. Now, granted, I watched it when I was like six or seven, so I can't remember much. But I think that was the case, right? Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, so it's still possible. Uh, but I think the more that is that there is to them might actually be in their heads, as in. If someone shows them there's another way, they notice that, hey, yo, there is another way. We can all do what D is doing and pretend to be someone else and maybe join his uh, his scheme and actually destroy the rangers from the inside. Or maybe we could pretend to be rangers. Or maybe we could uh, pretend to be rangers and, uh, I don't know, kick a puppy and film it and release it to the internet and people are going to believe that oh the rangers are actually secretly evil and destroy their reputation or you know something like that because they have the tools their biggest tool being they can change they can shape shift and their second biggest tool being they're immortal so you could very easily stage red ranger talking to one of the duskers film it release it Right? Stuff like that they can do. 
they have some things that they can utilize, but they are simply way too scared right now, way too intimidated to even try to even make an attempt. And when they do make an attempt, like Ev does, it's not necessarily a smart one. Right? This idea is smart. Ev's idea, eh, not so much. Knife on my right hand, fork on my left. Yeah, that's exactly how you use cutlery. <laughs> uh, right, ranger's duties. Not limited to monster extermination. Uh, yellows clean up local regions, apparently. Uh, reds are helping the police, and everybody seems to have their own specification. Uh, specialization, unless you are white then uh, I would assume you are, like, not assigned yet. You're, like, a junior or a, uh, I don't know, you are trying to get into the ranger force or whatever, right? Something like that, probably. And uh, when you go through the training, when you complete your exams, whatever, uh, you get assigned to one of the ranger groups or uh, a given ranger picks you, like, oh, I like what they wrote on their dissertation, I'm going to take them into the research group of yellows. Or I like his uh, prowess in combat, I would like him in the reds. Right? Stuff like that. Probably. Probably how it works. If they found out that the battles with the monsters are just an act. Mm, I thought that perhaps legitimately it is a conspiracy theory floating around. Uh, but now I think it's... Um, Actually, just genuinely Suzukiri just uh, covering him. And there's no such a video, there's no such a theory, she just made it up. And uh, Hibiki Sakurama is, of course, gullible enough to believe it. He very much seems like the... Uh, uh, like a muscle head here. Afternoon duties, Red Garrison, right. Sakurama is a huge fan of the Red Ranger. And D can, of course, change form. He can pretend to be Hibiki, although you probably should not be doing that out in the open. You probably should not be doing that out here in front of the kid, right? Which I guess really uh, shows how inexperienced D is. Like, he has the good idea, he just doesn't have experience doing that. Uh, the Duskers have experience changing into tiger monsters and flailing their hands and and roaring and dying. That's what they have experience in. They don't have much experience in scheming. So sure, they figured out, I have to scheme, but doesn't necessarily know how, doesn't necessarily know uh, when to, you know, uh, hide. Uh, when to let go, uh, when to, I don't know, take the risk, when to not take the risk, yada, 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 right? How to assess the target, etc. He doesn't know those things. And he's also not that strong either. I'm just here to scout the area. Yeah, and if you are here just to scout the area, then you just scout the area. You don't jump out with a knife at Red Ranger, right? And there is a lot of them, none of them wearing a mask. Here is uh, Frankie wearing clown makeup for some godforsaken reason. And yeah, which one here is the true Red Ranger, right? That's a good question. He's not a Red Ranger, though, but he will become one, or he wants to become one. Uh, which, I guess, eliminates the possibility of uh, Duskers just waiting it out. Because, uh, for a moment, I thought that, hey, the Duskers can just wait it out, right? The Rangers, assuming Henshin doesn't grant them immortality, they will retire one day, they will die. And if they are the only superheroes here, chances are other people might not 
inherit those abilities and then you will be free. Uh, but if it's not something inheritable, if it's not something uh, like physically inheritable, right? There's no like mutant gene that gives you superpowers or whatever, uh, but rather it's technology based. Uh, technology they got from who the fuck knows where, perhaps some sort of a third party, perhaps it's been unearthed in Mesopotamian ruins, perhaps it's actually been devised on Earth. We don't know that. Uh, but if it's actually based on uh, technology, if it's based on their morpher and the morphing grid and the ancient divine power sword or whatever, uh, then yeah, they can just appoint their successor. And there will always be rangers. And there will always be monsters. And the fight will never end. Unless someone ends it. So they, uh, the Duskers just lose that possibility of having an out. Yeah, I'm giving it to the future Red Keeper. Red Squadron specializes in R&D, and uh, uh, Yellow specializes in R&D, and Red specializes in defeating monsters. Apparently. Yeah, I know very well how strong they are. Exactly. Exactly. Measure your strength properly. And now you have been found lacking. You don't have enough strength to do that. You don't. The Red Ranger would probably just henshin right here, right now, and kick your ass and pull out the flesh sword and just kill you. Let's be honest here. You need to either be more sneaky or you need to be stronger. One of the two. Uh, we also can't forget that Duskers, as has been already said, are very fragile. You can just punch them in the face like a normal regular strength human can just punch them and they shatter they quickly you know recombine but still so probably red wouldn't even have to henshin to beat his ass to beat this ass this ass <laughs> give me the knife and yeah he really does not know how to conspire he just takes takes it at face value and give me the give me the knife and he just gives the knife you're really weak indeed again uh, i mentioned it early i really like the elaborate mouth animation here in general in this show it seems they very often there are like general mouth flaps right maybe like open, close, open, close, maybe narrow down, like they usually just animate the vowels not really the consonants this really seems like they are like you, you see the teeth then the teeth are hiding then they are like partially obstructed there is a lot of care put in the animation here and again, it's wild to me that this is Yostar Pictures. This is Yostar Pictures! Holy shit! I, I still find it hard to believe it. I st Legitimately, I still find it hard to believe that it's not MAPA or Madhouse or any other prolific studio. Really. Honestly. Yeah, you are weak, B, unfortunately little bit of ASMR, let's work together, and then let's destroy the ranger force together. Uh, this, let's work together, you and I, made me think, oh, simple, she wants power, she wants to be the next yellow, or maybe she wants to inherit all of their powers and be the rainbow ranger, or whatever, right? Maybe. But then she says, destroy the ranger force together. Not take over, not anything else, specifically destroy. Why? Unless she's, unless she's a monster. Why? Why would it be? So I wonder. Suzukiri is a monster. 
or uh, member of the third party. Here's maybe a wild idea. The Duskers. Uh, I'm just going to collectively call them the Duskers. Both the Grunts and the like, their bosses that are dead are one species of aliens. Another species of aliens is whoever Suzuki is a member of. Her invasion was thwarted by the Rangers. They stole the Divine Weapon and are using it to now fight a second invasion by other branch of aliens, by other, I don't know, civilization, whatever. And she wants revenge. She wants to take back the weapon. She wants to avenge her fallen comrades, whatever, something like that, right? Maybe. Uh, let me actually note it down. Uh, first aliens came got beaten divine weapon was stolen from them Suzukiri is one of them wants revenge second aliens came thus there's and uh, my pen has officially died. I use the same pen constantly from the very beginning of the channel and it finally, finally finished it. And is this one gonna work? Yeah, this one works. This is my favorite brand of pens. I don't know what's so cool about them, but I really fucking love those pens. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that this one just went out because I can use my favorite now. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Destroy the ranger force together. Uh, it's not Sunday. Yeah. Uh, I really like their how they constantly interact with the text on screen. Right? Uh, earlier, uh, Shun just blew the text away, now F just pushes it away. In the first episode, there were also some interactions with it. Very much reminds me of Kill la Kill, and if something reminds me of Kill la Kill, that's a very good reminder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guns and the weapons that they usually have seem to just be specifically designed in a way that uh, defeats the Duskers, but doesn't kill them. Oh, there is a bunch of goop that came out of this. Uh, do I have any? Yeah. There we go. It's a bunch of ink that leaked out. Pro tip, never store your pens that way because the ink will leak out. Then again, never store your pens this way either because... I have a pen here that I really liked, and uh, the the ink just ugh, just yeah, the ink is now here, and it should be here. <laughs> oh boy, pens, am I right? Actually, this way, yeah. Right. Uh, what was I? Uh, the weapons that the rangers are using are specifically designed to just destroy the Duskers and not kill them permanently, despite them having the technology to destroy them permanently. Uh, which again creates a question of... I guess they are cordoning off the uh, bystanders. Because my question was, of course, uh, why do the bystanders not notice? but maybe the uh, rangers never actually used this permanent 
kill weapon, did they? And the dusters would always just dusters would always just reconstitute back on the ship. So even if the rangers were to use the weak weapon, it would still look to a bystander as if the duster was vanquished, right? So yeah, I guess uh, I guess the bystanders, g the general populace, <coughs> doesn't know that the rangers are using weaker weapons on purpose. Yeah, that was my point. Henshin! Yeah, not, not the best Henshin sequence. Mm, you shall learn what true death is like. Divine Artifact Manifest. Uh, I want to get a closer look at the Divine Artifact. Yeah, this is just... It really looks like bone and muscle. It really looks like the spine of some ancient monster or whatever with like a Buddhist knot tied to it. It does not look man-made, as in made by humans. It really does not. Something technological looking. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we could uh, take the university of whatever of tokyo to figure out a way to disrupt the zeta waves of dusker teleportation or whatever and create a technological sword that can kill them permanently sure i can take it uh if it looked actually divine in some way if it had some i don't know carved out religious symbols or uh I know, if it had those, like, uh, paper uh, seals, paper wax seals slapped to it, or, right, stuff like that, o then okay, sure, the, I don't know, the oldest Buddhist monk in Japan meditated for 17 days and figured out how to make it, and he cut down the sacred tree, yada, 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 and with the power of the Jesus, or the Buddha, rather, the, the, the sword can vanquish them. Sure, cool, I can understand that. But this looks like neither. This really doesn't look like it's like it was made by human hands. Hmm. Hmm. Uh I'm going to separately note down uh that the vine artifact was not in fact created a year into the invasion. It was again either unearthed somewhere or stolen from different aliens or something. Something. Something else. Divine Artifact Manifest, and it has the power to summon King Ghidorah. Salamandra. Which is curiously Salamander in Polish. <laughs> Not bad, CG. I really like... I, I wonder if it's a nod. I wonder if it's a nod towards Super Sentai that the entire fucking environment just changes. <laughs> whatever, like, whatever existed here, right, it just goes away and it's a brand new entire environment, completely empty, devoid of anything, you know, menacing clouds, and it's just for that attack. How often did that happen in... Again, Power Rangers, again, that's my only window into Super Sentai, so I'm gonna be referring to it. But it really seems to me very... Uh, how do I say it? Classic. A classic move, right? Very classic move. I wonder if it's actually a node in that direction. Probably is. Probably is, let's be honest. Uh, D, where are you? What are you trying to do? And it really seems like an overkill. And again, we see the uh, text interacting with the world. 
ultimate technique Yamata no Orochi. I wonder what it translates to. Uh, I really find it interesting that D did not react. It would, of course, not be the smart move to react. Absolutely, it would be a very stupid move to react to do anything because either D would perish himself or uh, he and F would both perish on, or he would at least deconspire himself. Yeah. But I really, I guess anime just kind of got me used to the, like, uh, the power of friendship being over everything, right? Nakama uber alles, basically. If you see your friend being in danger, you, of course, you jump in front of that sword. That's what an anime protagonist does, even if it's a bad idea, even if even if it risks the entire conspiracy, the entire mission, they just do that. They just do that. That's how it works, right? I, I just get used to that. And it probably creates some sort of a drama because, oh, now everybody knows that this dude is uh, with the bad guys or is with the good guys and now his entire disguise is uh, off it's uh, useless and uh, he needs to find a new one yada 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 right it causes some complication no we don't get any complications here because d just just does nothing just looks because this is the most optimal way to do right now. He can't risk the mission. Interesting. I have a feeling that this show might be much more mature than I initially gave it credit for. I really think that would be the case. I really think that it... Is it a seinen or is it a shonen? Because if if it's a if it's a if it's a shonen, then I really think it should be a seinen. Just from like this scene alone. Uh, Annualist classifies it as a. Doesn't say actually shonen or seinen. Uh, shonen, oddly enough. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I guess I can see that, but I feel like, maybe not right now, but I feel like it has the potential to become a seinen. I don't know, maybe just me. And uh, yeah, compared to the last 13 meaningless years, right now, F at least did something. It felt good. He failed, but he did something. And then we get the ending with F in it, alive and well, and... Dancing a nice jig. Cool ending. I like it. I like the choreography. I like the dance. Uh, our evil will bloom someday. Right. Uh, actually, I'm going to note it down. F is not dead. Because just maybe. Maybe, just maybe he survived. Somehow. Palpatine somehow returned, right? <laughs> okay. All right. All right, you're right, you're right. Very good episode. Very, very good episode. Uh, I see it's scheduled for just 12 episodes. And uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that because... The pacing seems to be, right now, right now, the pacing seems to be very nice and methodical. It doesn't try to rush anything. We have a nice, nice pacing, and it really feels like in 12 episodes they will just establish the new status quo, right? Like, in 12 episodes, D will have only found his allies, maybe a couple more besides just uh, Suzukiri. Maybe they will uh, take down one of the rangers, maybe, I don't know, the green one or the yellow one or whoever. And uh, that will be it. 
at most, at most that. And uh, I don't know. Right now, this show really feels to me like something that should be 24 episodes long. It really feels like that. So I wonder. I wonder. I mean, it's not listed for 24 episodes, so it's probably not 24 episodes. Uh, but I wonder if there is a chance for a uh, sequel. It, it's kind of stupid, I guess, to try to like worry about the sequel right in after watching episode two, right? Uh, but with Yostar Pictures, it is an unknown. You cannot help but wonder, right? Which will be their priority? Will their priority be uh, creating anime for the gachas that they uh, run? Or will they priority shift to making shows like that? Or will they try their hand at anime originals? Or, right? How's it gonna look? How's it gonna go? Like, sure, we, uh, ha we had like two seasons of um, Arcanites right now, and uh, I think third season has been announced. Correct me if I'm wrong there. <clears throat> Wouldn't surprise me if um, Blue Archive got another season or two either. Absolutely not. Uh, but then something like uh, Girls Frontline did not get the second season. Wait, it's, has GFL been made by, uh, by Yostar? I think it has been, right? Yeah, it, it's been my, made by Yoster because I remember people being uh, wary of the uh, Blue Archive ad adaptation because of how badly the guns were portrayed in um, in uh, in Girls Frontline. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. Yeah, I I'm really liking this show so far. I really am. It's great. It's amazing. Great art. Great animation. Great characters. Great story so far. Uh, it really seems to be giving much more than I expected it to give. I expected it to be mostly... Uh, how do I say it? Mm, I don't want to say dumb fun, but in that vein, right? In that vein. Uh, D grows stronger, gain, gains some allies, then after six episodes they go and take down Yellow, after six episodes, they go and take down Pink, yada, 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 rinse, repeat. And uh, it's basically going to be a monster of the week, but like from the opposite side, from the side of monsters. Uh, but no, it's really setting out to be so much more than that. I really think that we will see some really mature themes here, maybe. Uh, but after today's... After today's episode, with F just dying meaninglessly and D not doing anything because it would deconspire him, I think it's going to be one of the series that doesn't treat the viewer like an idiot. And I'm down. I'm very much down for that. I'm very much going to be looking forward to future episodes of it. 100%. Right now... Right now, I think it's one of my favorite series of the season that I've been watching. So, good job there. It's really good. Good shit. Yolster actually made something really fucking good, so mad props for that. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be it uh, from me for today. But maybe you guys have something more to say on the topic of this episode. If so, say so in the comments down below. What did you think of it, of my reaction, my theories, stuff like that? Uh, no spoilers from the manga, please, I beg of you. If you do want to talk spoilers, my Discord is open, of course, here also in the description. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to be notified of future videos. Not only uh, Sentai Daishkaku, uh, but also others like um, Yukiuna is a hero, Kaito Otome, Spice and Wolf, Unnamed Memory, uh, Blue Archive, Kaiju 8 Go, and others coming in the future. Click the bell down there to be notified when I go live, because I do sometimes. Support the channel if you want monetarily on Patreon or YouTube down below, or not. Share my content spread oh, Patreon down below, where for 10 bucks a month you get early access to non-seasonal shows like uh, Yuki Yuna, and for just a dollar you get a roll on the Discord now placing credits. You can also support me directly on YouTube via memberships, super thanks, super chats. And uh, if you don't want to spend any money whatsoever, share my content, spread the word. It costs you nothing and helps a lot. That's the proper order of my outro. And now that's going to be it from me for today. So as always, you guys do the good stuff. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Cheers. 
And here's the list of my 1 through 8 Patreons. QB without a net, of Survivor, Watson, Zarian, Yuki, Ala, Ishtamu, Dr. Watt, Agamancer, Marsh, Fassel, and Speeter. And you can join them as well without having to take the form of the redhead dude. <laughs>